Hi, so glad you joined me here. I'm going to show you how I did the light. I put in the white first, then the yellow. Then I bring around the orange just to grab that where that light source is coming from. Bring you in over here onto the tree leaves with another brush, ultramarine blue, crimson, and white. I touched in first those yellow and orange leaves and where that light source is coming through. Throw in the tree trunks and I go back to that contrasting colors to overlay over the lighter colors just to give you some more contrast. Helps make that light show up really strong when you grab those contrasts over the top of the light. Then I'm going to bring in some more light with the yellow, orange, crimson, and white. Just keep continuing to strengthen those contrasting light colors. Bring in that trunk with the crimson and the ultramarine blue. Grab those highlights of yellow and orange. Just continue uh, uh, highlighting just very gently with the brush. Don't touch too hard. I'm going to go back and forth with the liner to that wore out brush that I'm using that I will show you in the description. Continuing on with the more light. Now I'm going to bring that foggy mist coming into the meadow. Then uh, just to go back to the fence posts. Start showing you how I highlighted that deer the same way with the backlighting where the light source is coming from. Back onto the, the highlights on the fence posts. Then we're going to go into the first stage of the windows. The highlights, yellow, white, and orange. Depending on where your light source is coming from, you want to bring the white in first. Same as the sky. Throwing in some hay up there. Yellow, orange, a little bit of crimson. Okay, the top of the roof is yellow, white, orange, ultramarine, blue, crimson. I start with those lighter, bright colors, pouring that light over the roof. I'm going to grab the crimson and white to bring that lavender glow on the shadow of the roof. Then bring in a little bit of black with ultramarine blue to trim out the contrasting parts of the barn and the old shingles. And then keep continue doing that. And then I go back to the deer and show you how I highlight the deer in the same way with yellow, orange, and white. Now back to the greens and yellow and white on the grass. Light is pouring through the barn. Everywhere that light is hitting. A little bit of ultramarine blue, crimson. Now go back to the second stage of the windows. Doing the same thing over again, just kind of trimming them up. I want to thank you so much. Be sure to refer to my full length video. It's a time lapse. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.